Hey, what's up everybody? This is Nightwing2303 from kicksoncourt.com. Today we have the performance review on the AirPenny 5. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. As usual, starting off at the bottom of the shoe, we have the traction pattern, which is herringbone, which uh, is a mixture between two different types of rubber. you got solid rubber, which you can see, and then you have translucent rubber, which is the rest of the surface area. Um, I typically do not like the way that translucent rubber performs, but this type of setup is just perfect in my opinion. Um, it covers you, you know, laterally and it covers you front to back or, or lineal, linearly and um, I personally really really like it. It's got the coverage in all of these sections that you'd need. Um, basically you have a heel section for if you needed it. You don't really need it but if you did um, it's, uh, it's there and it co covers you uh, no problem. And then you have this section here which is perfect. This covers the entire ball of the foot area. So um, that's something that I actually really, really love about this shoe is that you can see it's just shaped like a foot, so everything's very, very natural. Um, and then you have your big toe pad and then the rest of the pads, uh, or the rest of the toe on that one pad. So it doesn't really matter what you are doing, this shoe covers you perfectly. The dust doesn't even affect this type of uh, translucent rubber. I don't know, I don't know why. Um, you know this this section here, no slipping, no slipping on either of the uh, solid rubber sections. And um, to be perfectly honest, I absolutely loved the traction on these guys. These were my go-to shoe all year long with my uh, basketball league, and we play on one of the worst kept floors I've ever seen. It's uh, not only just filled with debris, but it, it, I don't think they've refinished that floor for like four years. Um, and so it's just got a bunch of just it's disgusting and this shoe was perfect on it and that was really hard to find because I was going through all kinds of shoes and the only shoes that were really good for it were um, the ones that had solid solid uh, herringbone like the CP 3.6's and then those Jordan 11's so this shoe here it just you know it was fantastic on the traction standpoint as far as the cushion is concerned um, I still don't know for sure if there is a four foot zoom unit or not I swear to you I can't feel it I can't find it I've taken out the insoles um, I've tried to feel around in there usually you'll have the impression of the um, the air unit you'll have it underneath this, this is the insole for the uh, this shoe here um, but usually you'll have an impression like wh wherever that unit sits and you'll have that shape of it kind of embedded in there after you start playing in it um, so like I said in the initial video, unless it's bottom loaded, which, I mean, you'd be able to see it, uh, you know, because there's clear rubber. So I don't think that there is any four foot cushion. Um, the heel cushion is that firmer kind of uh, 180 bag. So as far as heel strikes go, I thought that it was fine. Um, though with it being more firm, it's a little bit more stable. So you're not, you know, squishing too too far down whenever you hit that, that heel on there, making your transition pretty smooth. So um, there's no unbalanced or unstable feeling. Like I was saying in the traction portion, the outsole here is shaped almost identically to your foot shape. Um, so everything is super, super natural, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous in a good way. And the foam that they used, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that this, this is Kushlon. Um, it feels very, very similar to the LeBron 9 Elite, and that was Kushlon foam. So. Um, as far as forefoot cushion is concerned, with it just being a foam based, many of you guys know already that I do prefer foams. Um, it, it just kind of like evenly distributes your point of impact. Um, so instead of being targeted like this, once you hit the floor, it kind of like waves like a wave, like like the ocean, how it ripples and all that stuff, um, or, or water, I should say. That's what foam does. It just kind of carries your, your weight and impact and distributes it evenly um, versus it being a targeted cushion section like this or having like a met bag or whatever it is so um, I thought that the foam was fine it doesn't last an incredibly am long amount of time but for me um, I'm so lightweight and light on my feet that it worked out for me just fine plus it gave me a, a plenty amount of court fuel which was awesome so I personally like the setup if you do not like foam especially at the forefoot then you probably won't like these um, you know but for me personally I thought that they were great I thought that the back was a little firm, but it is uh, it is definitely better than having it be like I guess 
unfirm. I don't know what you'd call it, but uneven. Um, so with it being firm like that, you didn't get an unbalanced ride, even though you're on a 360 bag. As far as the materials are concerned, um, this is another area that I thought was fantastic. It was probably one of my... I, I love materials, um, or I love, I love nice materials, and uh, I guess anybody would. But anyways, um, I really like the, what they did with the Penny 5. I like that they brought the old in with the new. Um, I think that if they did this more often, I think that shoes would sell a little bit better. These are probably not the best example. A lot of people didn't buy these. Um, they only bought like the hyped up colorways, those red ones, and the dolphin colorway. Those are the two colorways that I happen to not like, by the way. Um, I think the dolphins look nice, but they're not my style. Uh, if I'm going to get a penny, I want it to be, you know, like an original style colorway, because he belongs in Orlando. Um, or at least in my opinion. But, uh... The materials are basically just two two types of materials. Um, you have that new buck, which is the outer layer, and then the inner layer is all the fuse material. So, fuse is durable. Um, it's great for you know containing the foot and retaining its shape. Um, the material layers are very very minimal. There's a lot of open sections. This entire forefoot is practically open um, with mesh, and then same with the side panels. So. Um, you know, but I, I just love the materials. I thought they were great. Um, it was definitely a throwback to the 90s while keeping it modern with today's game and style of play. As far as the fit is concerned, um, this is probably one of the, be the best fitting uh, pennies, in my opinion, um, all, all over. Like, I think that the 1, the 2, and the 3, they all had really great fits from about the midfoot forward, um, but they all lacked heel lockdown. And then the Air Penny 4 was great in heel lockdown. And it wasn't as good as the 1, 2, and 3, even though it was still decent um, in that midfoot fit. So this shoe here, most of you guys know if you have this already, as soon as you put your foot in it, they're super, super snug. So keeping your foot in the shoe and contained is not a, not an issue here. Um, some people might even have to go up half a size because they, they kind of feel narrow. I don't, I don't notice it. You know, it, it fits me like a sock, which is something that I like. So... Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think they're true to size, but if you don't like a narrow, snug fit, then go up half a size. Um, but basically, everything from here on up is just fantastic. It's one of the best-fitting sneakers I've personally played in. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if I can think of anything else. Oh, the KD5s, those were another one where they're just, like, really, really snug, and they wrap around your foot. Um, those have Those and these have a really, really great containing fit, so um, I personally really like that. And then if you lace these up all the way up to the top, you are locked into the heel, which is something that was missing in most of the previous models. Uh, I forgot to mention the foam pods. I always forget to mention those. Um, so, yeah, so I think that these are great um, as far as their fit goes. you got really, really great lockdown, and uh, a lot of support comes from that fit. So, in my opinion, I think that the fit is great. So going back over these open vent holes that are all over the shoe um, with the ventilation, this shoe is, is ten times better than any of the previous air pennies, and that's not an understatement whatsoever. Um, this whole area here is kind of built like a runner, so it's it's kind of hard to see on this colorway, but there's like there's like ribs, and uh, that's really thin strips of fuse, but everything else is pretty much open. Um, what I like about this is that it's super flexible and it requires absolutely no break in time. Um, the materials are just, you know, ready to go right out the box. And then all of this section here where the mesh is on both sides, it's unrestricted airflow and more, like I said, ventilation. Um, this this one you can could probably see those little like strips or those little waves in there. Um, same thing in the toe. So I think that the uh, ventilation is just a complete upgrade from anything that I've ever used. Any of the other pennies, one through four, including the foam posit. Although the foam posit, you can't like knock it for its uh, lack of ventilation, just because it's a foam posit. You you need that. In terms of support, uh, like I was saying earlier, the fit is probably most important section of the support. Um, and then you have this whole outsole here, which is pretty much shaped like your foot shape so everything's very natural and fluid you feel very well balanced um, one thing I'll say though about stability is this section of the forefoot is I don't know how to explain it but maybe you can maybe you can see that this this uh, outrigger here which is a little bit too far back I think that this should you know cut across all the way over um, but this uh, section here comes out a little bit this is just past your pinky toe so right around 
um, like this section of your foot and um, this section here curls inwards a little bit and it's and it's uh, shaped like like circular um, uh, it's, it's rounded and so basically if you're not careful um, I rolled my ankle in these not bad because uh, I didn't sprain it or anything but I, I had landed from a rebound and I had landed right on the edge of my foot which is my mistake um, I should be more aware of what I'm doing with my feet but anyway so I, I landed with all my pressure on the one foot and then because it's so inward and uh, kind of rounded right there it just like I just rolled right over all the way which is crazy but the fit itself saved my ass because I would have I would have sprayed my ankle really bad if I would have done that that my ankle was practically on the floor um, so the fit on these guys is fantastic uh, making the support fantastic the stability is great just watch out for this small area right here at the forefoot if you decide to play in them um, I did have this issue also when I was running real quickly and stopping and if I would stop too much on my toes I'd roll it a little bit so um, the other part of the support is the shank which is the carbon fiber plate right here and this actually extends throughout the midfoot um, you can't see it because it's underneath the midsole so the only section that you can see is right here but it's built just like the LeBron 9 so if you played in those and you get that similar kind of support but without that restriction in the forefoot so you still get some flexibility um, what, you know range of motion and things like that without uh, the carbon fiber plate really hindering it overall I think that the Air Penny 5 is a fantastic on court model I know that it comes in a Nike brown box which is their sportwear line um, usually their orange boxes are performance uh, oriented sneakers um, you know runners trainers hoop shoes tennis shoes all that kind of stuff so um, However, if you wanted to wear these on court, I know that there's a few NBA players that do it and a bunch of college players that do it. Um, it is a very good option in my opinion. It's definitely a light and quick shoe that adapts very well to many styles of play. Uh, you can wear these whether you're a point guard all the way up to a three um, and then even some light footed uh, fours. So, um, and using those numbers, I'm talking about point guards, shooting guards, small forwards, and then a forward would be a power forward. Um, you know, just be careful if you're on your feet or light on your feet on your toe, just for this little section right here. Um, I do think that the outrigger should have come all the way across. It would have widened the base a bit, um, probably reduced some of the flexibility and some of the natural movement and feel of the outsole. But I do think that that would have been necessary. So um, it would have been a, a good kind of balance or mixture between fluid fluidness uh, of the of the shoe plus additional stability and support. Um, but anyways, I think that these are fantastic. Uh, you can get these on sale now over at CitySoul.com. I don't know if they still have them. This pair, by the way, I did get on release day from CitySoul.com uh, for retail price. So, But now they're like $89. Bucks. Um, if you stay tuned to my site, you'll know that. If you want to know the performance scores of these, you can also go to my site, KicksOnCourt.com. Um, and I think that these are awesome. So, uh, you know, if you like to ball in your kicks, definitely give these a go. And thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. So until next time, guys, have a good one.